Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech It. You've just uh, seen me coming out of the portal there. I've been to the nether to collect some blaze rods. Uh, this will become clear in a minute. And I've got a few nether ores as well as I was there. I just came across. Um, I'm going to macerate these up. Good thing about nether redstone and all these things is they macerate into two of the, into them. Like, you get twice the amount kind of thing out of it, so... Worthwhile. So there you go. So today I'm going to show you how to make an end chest. This is going to be very useful for us. Mainly because we can do a little bit of a sneaky, uh, little bit of a sneaky thing. Which is the way you can use an ender chest is you can pump from the never into an ender chest and then you can use the other ender chest here because you you know if you make more than one whatever you put in uh, is shared in the chest and then when you take it out of one um, it goes out the other as well so you can pump lava through from the never back to the overworld and then you can have a really easy source of lava and it should be pretty much never ending as well. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make a pump. Um, not a pump, sorry. Ender chest. Drop. I will show you how to make a pump later on though. Um, so we're going to need some wood. Some wool. Uh, should be in here. Some wool. Yeah. Two pieces of wool. We're going to need eight blaze rods. What we can do for this is transmute the ones we've got. Uh, some obsidian. And uh, a couple of ender pearls. This will be the difficult bit. I'm not sure if there's a recipe to get these. Or not. I'm pretty sure it's just a... So here's the ender chest. It's a recipe. So yeah, it's just a uh, bit of a pain. We're going to have to try and find an enderman and get his pearl. But it's not much of a problem really. The uh, quarter of an hour spent in the nether was a bit of a pain. <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, let's just transmute these and these blaze rods. So we're going to need a total of eight. Uh, we've got everything else we need. Just need ender pearls. So we're going to and hunt for a Mr. Enderman. So we're going to make this, let's get this all set up. We're pretty much impenetrable because we have got like dark matter sword with quantum armor. We can pretty much run and jump our way around relatively easily. Um, I was also asked a question by a uh, subscriber that was what do the crops that have been bred between two different plants look like basically what happens here is um you'll see a pumpkin and a melon say you're trying to cross breed it will produce one of them it won't kind of do a, a half pet half melon half pumpkin kind of thing it will just make make you one or the other so that's the way for that. I'm going to try and do a sprint jump. It's really hard to control this. <laughs> it's just so quick. It's so quick. It's probably too quick. Oh, get away from you, Mr. Creeper. Hup. Hup. Creeper. <laughs> Got to be an enderman around here somewhere. Don't 
plenty of creepers, but we've got our gunpowder tanks. Where are you, Mr. Enderman? Get you, get you, get you, get you. So we're also going to need, aha, uh -huh. also going to need some cactus as well. Ta da! Cool. So yeah, we're going to need some cactus. This makes the waterproof pipe. We're going to need to transport the lava. Um, basically, the way it works is you take cactus, a normal cactus, put it into the furnace. That will make cactus green. Then you put the cactus green into your inventory and it will make the waterproof waterproofing. It basically looks like a piece of string, but it's coloured green. That's an easy way to, to tell. Um, what I'm going to do is make three of these ender pearls because I can use one to transmute. Always have one of each item to transmute if you can. So it makes things a lot easier. So there's all the things we need for the ender chests. It looks slightly different to the uh, the regular ones you get in. The newest Minecraft. So enderpearls go at the bottom. Obsidian. Oh, we need to make some chests as well. Derpy derp. Uh, wood. Wooden planks. Two of. Okay, two chests. Chests go in the middle. Wall go above that. Obsidian left and right at the chest. Ender pearl blow the chests. And then blaze rods in the spaces. Two ender chests. Lovely. So, for now, we can put them just down here. They're not. Sound really cool. It sounds slightly different. Um, they're not kind of, you know, the biggest, but we can do, put diamond pickaxe in, notice it opens both at once as well, so diamond pickaxe is there, and then there as well, take it out, it will appear from there as well. Um, so another kind of chest I can show you actually while we are on the subject of chests is the uh, crystal chest. Now the good thing about these ones is they're actually clear. Um, but one thing you need to know is if you want the better texture you need to up uh, update the patch because basically it looks... Oh no, it's doing that funny thing again. I'm not pressing any buttons right now guys. Stop. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Um, so yeah, it's just basically it looks really basic, the crystal chest. Um, but once you've Um, put the patch on you can get a better texture for it which is here so to make these you need to make a diamond chest a gold chest, an iron chest and a normal one it sounds more complicated than it really is we're going to need to grab some iron, some gold some diamonds, some glass you can use refined iron or normal iron, it doesn't really matter Whichever you prefer, whichever you've got to hand. Uh, glass. Uh, so I'll give you a few facts along the way. Because these are um, very good. Where's the thing gone? 
you can get you can either do this by upgrades or you can do it with the um, the normal method which is what we're going to use um, so we're going to take a chest we're going to need some more wood we use the automatic table for this because it's just quicker okay so we're going to take a chest this has got a uh, default 27 spaces we're going to upgrade it to an iron so you just surround it in iron ingots the iron it, uh, chest has an extra nine slots so i can put this down just so you can see extra nine compared to the other one compared to a standard chest uh, have we got a single chest anywhere uh, no, so I can't show you that. You, you, you guys all know what a standard one is. Um, we're going to take the iron chest. Surround it in gold. This will upgrade it um, to... Oops. I think it's another nine. Well, no, a lot more than that. <laughs> another, was, what, what, 27 spaces? We're going to take the gold one, put it in the middle. We're going to take uh, some, oh, I need some diamond balls. And you need two. Luckily, you don't have to use a whole. <laughs> surround the whole thing in eight blocks. That will be a bit of a Mickey take. Um, so gold chest, two diamonds either side, and then the rest is glass. Gives you a diamond chest. Space in this one's pretty much at its max. Uh, 108 spaces and then the crystal chest is still 108 spaces but it's got a special feature that is badass so diamond surrounding glass crystal chest now we want to put this somewhere cool because it's such a cool chest uh, let's get a wooden plank and make like a plinth for it to go on uh, I just hate this tech at range. It's ridiculous. Um, so, I don't know why I picked up eight pieces. <laughs> I think I'm making another chest. So, plonk it down. I guess it's probably not the best place to put it because it's going to get interfered with, this, with the chest. Um, I don't know where we can put it. Tell you what. We'll put it down here for now. This will do. Now, you can see it's absolutely clear. 108 spaces. But this is the clever thing. Put stuff in it anywhere. Whatever you want, you can put it in there. And this is the cool bit. Look inside. Is that your... 2D image of what's in there. How cool was that? In fact, what we can do, put it there. How cool was that? <laughs> well, this is a different mod. By the way, it's nothing to do with the end of chest. Chest, I believe it's uh, more chest model, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, easily, easily collectible, mineable. So you can't see the top texture unless you jump. So, but yeah, the basic texture pack that is just a blue border and there's none of that bit in the middle it's just like a line and then a bit in the middle but it's very bland so you can get the updated texture on the Spax texture patch texture pack site under patches um, so yeah we've got our two ender chests I'm going to um, the tops of these change as well somehow can't exactly remember how but I'll tell you next time um, so I am going to do a little bit more checking up on 
the things we need to do this pumping system. And we get on to making some pumps. Trying, um, I'll try and find some cactus so you're not bored of me trying to get that. And uh, yeah, I'll get some cactus and stuff. And we'll make a pump next episode. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.